Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris from My Handyman. I want to teach you how to do the small tasks and small projects around the house I know you can do without calling for help. Today, just like earlier, we ironed a shirt earlier. We're going to iron a pair of pants. Yeah, this is kind of weird, I know. But there are certain things that we're forgetting how to do. There are certain things I think that we should know how to do, but we just blow it off. Or we're a college student and we have piles and piles of clothes and we don't look good when we go out. Or you're going to an interview and you're not sure what, how to dress or, gee, my pants are wrinkled. Look how wrinkled these are. Now, if I put these on, I look like a bum. I own my own business. I don't want to go to a client's house with, and these are work pants. I don't want to look like a bum. I don't want to do that, so I iron stuff. So today, we're going to iron, and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so I start with the legs, and on my work pants, I don't need a seam or a crease down the center of the, of the, of the leg. I need it to be flat, all right? So I am, I see I've got a, a sewing seam on both sides. You can see that here, and you can see that here. So I'm flattening this out just like I did with the shirt. I'm flattening it out as if my hand were the iron and I am making sure there's no creases underneath. All right. We have our iron. It is an iron I got from Bed Bath & Beyond it's got a water reservoir, and I am going to put a little bit of water in there for us. Just enough for the pair of pants. Get us some good steam. I keep this up on high because most of my clothes are heavy and cotton, and a high temperature is what I need. If you're using, if you've got something a little bit more delicate, you're going to play with the temperature settings. All right, I'm going to start ironing. All I want to do is get the big wrinkles out. Now, I'm not going over this part here. I'm not going over this part here. I'm just doing the flat stuff, not the outside of the seam, because I don't need it. Be I don't need a crease over on that side. And I'll show you how we'll we'll fix that in a few seconds here. All right, so here is the first leg. Now. Was that easy? Yeah. I'm not going like this. I'm not pushing down on it and going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm not doing that. I'm just going nice and easy. I'm letting the iron do the job. All right. Let's do the front of the other leg. All right. Here's the other leg here. Same thing. Run your hand across it. Make sure you don't have any folds underneath because that steam likes to go all the way through. See, there we go. As if your hand were the iron. Do you feel anything? No, you're ready to iron. Here we go. I'm not pushing down on it. I'm letting the iron do the job, okay? Okay, now let's flip it over. We'll do the other side. You can see that there's still a few creases here and there, a few wrinkles. Let's look nice. All right, here we go. Now you notice again, I'm not going all the way to the edge. I'm not going all the way to the edge. And I'll show you why in a second. Again, just like with a shirt, it only takes a few minutes to do it. It takes just a few minutes to look good. Now we're gonna do the back of the other leg. Okay, as if my hand were the iron. Going over it, smooth it out, go towards, you can feel the seam underneath, your iron is bumping right up against it, so you're not going all the way to the edge. There, see? There. Now, what we're going to do with the leg now, is we're going to, as if we were going to put a seam in there, but we're not, there's your... There's your, there's your seam where, you're, where it's sewed, and I'm just going to go like this. Once there, 
flip it over, find the other seam from the other side. Run my hand across it as if it were an iron. Let the iron do the job. All right, let's do the top part of the pants, the part where the zipper is, part where the pockets are. So what you're gonna do is, once you've got, you can see that, you can see the pocket on the inside. All right, make sure that it's flat. So make sure it's flat when you put it in there. So you're gonna slip, just like I mentioned before. This is shaped not only for the arm of your shirt, but it's also so you can slip material over top Look, I just slipped the pants right up on top of there. I'm gonna pull this right over just a hair so you can see that. See, look at that. Here's the pocket, here's the seam, here's the zipper. And I ironed up to here with the leg. Now let's do the, the, the top part here. So I'm gonna iron across like this. I'm letting the iron do the job. Just like that. I can go over the zipper because the zipper is metal. I'm doing the waistline. I'm doing just on the inside of the pocket. I'm not shoving the iron into the pocket and the waistline here. Okay, now I'm going to take the same thing and I'm just spinning it just a little bit. There's my side pockets. I'm going to Iron those as flat as I can. Make those look nice. Iron that. There's my back pocket, the waistline. Let's spin it one more time. Got to get the inside back part of the leg. And there it is right there. So we ironed up to here already. Now we're going to iron this part here. And that's just like that. All right. Now, what's left? The other side. So, I took this off. Again, make sure that that pocket on the inside here is flat. So, that you can, if you, have to, if you have to put your hand in there, put your hand in there and make it flat. So, let's go like this. We're going to slip this over the ironing board again. Make it nice and flat, like this. If you have to, slip your hand in here. Make that, make that pocket flat inside. Okay, just like that. And remember, we ironed up to here with the leg. So now we're doing this portion here. The upper part where the zipper is and where the pockets are. All right. I'm doing the waistline, just a little bit inside the pocket because no one sees inside the pockets, right? All right, what am I gonna do? That's right, I'm gonna spin it. I'm gonna spin it a little bit so I can get this part of it. And then we'll spin it all the way around again. There's the seam, there we go. Now I'm gonna spin it this way. You notice how I'm, I pull the pants off of the ironing board a little bit so it's easy to spin. There, there's the inside seam, back pocket. We ironed up to here on the leg. Let's do this portion. Okay, part of the pocket, back side of the pants, waistline. All right. Slip it down a little bit again. Let's slip it back on and we'll get this portion of it. Okay, and that's, that's all of it because we already did this part, remember? So this is actually the last part of it. And how long did it take us? Not long at all, did it? How long does it take to look good? Took us less than five minutes for the shirt. Took us about eight minutes for the pants. So is that gonna be a big deal to do? I don't think so. And boom, you heard that.
slip that off. Let's take a look. All right. All right. How's it look? Look at that. Oh, a whole lot better than it did. That's for sure. And when I put these on, it's going to look very, very nice. All right. So I just fold everything up like this. I get just like they do at the store. Okay. Make sure it's nice and flat. I fold it over. I fold it over until it's even at the bottom. Now I can put these on a hanger if I want to, or what I do is I fold it one more time like this and I make it nice and compact, just like you have it at the store. Okay. I know this is kind of a, an unusual thing for, to, uh, to do. Um, again, you got to look good. It's you. Your name's on everything. Everything that you do, you might as well look the part too. Iron your shirt. Iron your pants. Make sure your shoes aren't dirty. Uh, comb your hair. Get a haircut. I know mine's kind of nice and short. I like it short. I see guys with longer hair. Just keep it neat looking. Just keep it neat looking. Shave every day if you shave. If you have a beard, trim down here. Trim here. Trim here. A first impression is something you can't get back. If you don't look good, if you're uh, kind of sloppy, if you don't shave, you don't comb your hair, and you go out in public, it just makes you look like you're lazy. What other way is this, where is to say it? I didn't have time? No. You always have time to comb your hair. You always have time to trim this. You always have time to make sure you've got something nice on. So get something nice on. Comb your hair. Shave. Iron your clothes. If you want to, iron, if you want to polish your boots, polish your shoes, just look nice when you go out. Thanks. I'll talk to you again. See you in the next video. Oh, oh, oh. Before you leave, if you would please, please subscribe. My humblest thank yous.